Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is happening real time. Totally worth the journey. <laughs> 13, 13. 13. There's, isn't there a thing about like 13? Should I ever have a 13th floor? Yeah, 13th floor. Oh, God. All oh, right, so we're on another adventure. Uh, of course, you guys would have seen what we've done with Pro Wine, and then a couple of months after that, usually on the sort of wine calendar around the world, is uh, Vin Expo. So I'm flying up from Adelaide. We just landed into Changi Airport in Singapore, and then Noah's been flying up from Melbourne. And I think I might have beaten him by like an, a solid hour, to be honest, but we'll see how we go. Noah and I are going to join up and then give you a bit of an update on what we're doing here and how our next week's going to pan out. It's looking pretty fun. Controversial opinion, I do realize that Doha Airport is pretty freaking amazing. Changi kind of takes it to town. We just went through a jungle. We just went through an actual jungle in the middle of the airport. That's it. Cheers. <laughs> It went in Singapore. Yeah, it went in Singapore. Target. Oh, where are we, Noah? Uh, we're in Changi Airport. Changi Airport. And what are we doing here? We're here in the um, Singapore Airlines Gold Lounge. Although it might sound like it, the Gold Lounge is the entry level lounge. Yeah. The Silver Lounge is the Red Sea Boy. <laughs> and that's where the guys from Tor broke up. Um. <laughs> We're having the Infinity Dumplings. Infinity Dumplings, which yeah, currently at the moment, they will be the replenished very, very soon. The beer selection is good because it's got Tiger, Heineken, and unfortunately today it's broken, but they've got like the Japanese style, like Poyo and Asahis. Oh, yeah, which has like the perfect head. Yeah, perfect head. Are you able to taste both of these wines yep. and tell me, firstly, how much you'd pay for it and how many you would buy? I haven't paid for it, but the company's probably paid like 10 a grand. Uh, for this <laughs> 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 but so this is uh, from a wonderful country of Australia. It actually doesn't smell too bad. A lot of green apple. It's a bit like aldehydic, though. What variety? Chardonnay. It's Chardonnay. It's a Chardonnay. All right. What um, have we got here? So this is uh, Syrah from France. This is a Bouchard, Arnoux, and Fields. Uh, so yeah, probably just cooperative Syrah from all across the country. So cool. it's likely Languedoc. Yeah, Bouchard's a, a Burgundian. Bouchard and Fee is the a yep. Burgundian yep. negotiant. Yeah. So yeah, this will just be um, co-op fruit from across. But yeah, they, they, wow. they previously they did have the Bouchard Chardonnay here. Oh. That was the winner. That was awesome. Tannins barely there. Very like sandy, but very, very fine. Fruit's nice. It's got a bit of a bitterness, but that pepper thing really sticks out. That olive tapenade thing as well. I love the little well. pepper movement. You just, uh, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's bad. the pick? What's oh, the Syrah's, pick? Syrah's pick? Syrah's the pick. There you go, you've had it. The pick is the red wine uh, at the Singapore Airlines Chris Gold. Flyer Gold Chris Flyer Lounge, Gold. Yep. Uh, which is the entry level lounge. Performance issues, buddy. I went too early. I've been too early. All right, now after you, oh, in the back. Hello. Hello. Oh, cool. That is glowing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla versus bus. I know who wins. I think I think the bus wins. Oh, wins. Okay. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's totally cool. No, no, you're good. You're good. Do you want us to get out? Here? No, or no, no, no. Later. No, no, no. Further up here. Yeah, here. yeah perfect. Okay, uh, uh, left turn. Yep, yep. left turn. Yep, that's all good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 
Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a good night. All right, check in time. Oh, there was no ding. I was expecting a ding. Uh, wait, what? Okay. Thirteen. 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 Oh, isn't there a thing about like thirteen? Like no 13 hotel. Floor. Should I ever have a 13th floor? Yeah, 13th floor. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, okay. It's Hotel California all over again. <laughs> we got we to upload this footage immediately, just yeah, in yeah. case. This is the just last holding script, like, just goes black. It's been it's like, like, the last Me brain, no work good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, humidity. I'm locked. All right. Yeah, boy. The thickness. Oh, that's okay, worrying, cool. isn't yeah. it? Sweet, 13th floor, how good? Oh, look, lover's delight. First morning, and we're going to exploit Noah's hidden superpower. I can put that. Maybe not. <laughs> morning. <laughs> morning. Turn the camera around. Uh, Here's the okay. classic uh, humidity. All right, so Noah's going to be sending us to hopefully what is a solid coffee place. Based on the fact that we could not distinguish the difference between the coffee machine in the pictures and what looks like a potential spaceship. <laughs> so that's the... That's generally the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb. Like... Chinese rule is the right hand side, so effectively it's just chaos. Yeah, it's just every, ca every way is for it. Every man for himself. Oh, damn. Noah's, I think Noah. Uh, this is, this is kind of hectic. It's a storm, yeah. It's, it's a storm. Mate. Oh, how good. And of course, <laughs> of course, the only other person we could possibly bump into here. <laughs> Mate, how are you? <laughs> it's the man himself, BK, Brennan Keys. How's the coffee? Is it good? Do you rate it? It's fantastic. It's really, really good. Uh, two blacks? Two blacks. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. See you, BK. Ciao, ciao. We're going to go to Uniqlo because we have a dinner. A dinner tonight with the like the Australian government in attendance, and they said business casual. And I basically just I just travel in in this. I, I think this is more casual than business. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Noah's more appropriately dressed well, and I'm prepared. Still, I'm I mean, not at the moment, not right but, now, but I have I always carry that nice. Yeah. I've, the only thing that I brought this time that I don't normally bring is lotions. Loafers. Yeah. Unico's not necessarily a loafer brand. Alright, let's get on the Yeah, Unico doesn't really do business casual, but maybe it's time for a change. <laughs> oh no. We're too early. We're too early, Noah. Oh wow. Oh, where's a ancient M opens at 10.30? Where's HM from here? That's one thing that we've noticed is that nothing really opens in Hong Kong until like 10, 11. It stays open really late, but obviously for early risers like us. Yeah, Australians. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm usually not a fan of fast fashion. Uh, I don't either. Obvious I. reasons. However, like when you're in a bind, H&M. H&M and Uniqlo are your go-tos. Like, we definitely Big prefer green. Uniqlo, I'm just going to say. Yeah, totally. Despite the whole, like, you know, name affiliation. Um, no, it's because of the name affiliation. Yeah, exactly we love right. Uniqlo because it has, it's got most of the words of Uniqlo in it. <laughs> most of the letters. Most of the letters. We are sorted with good workable clothing, I think, I feel, for this evening. Hopefully we don't look like absolute clowns. Oh, we'll be good. Nah, we'll be good. Anyway, Noah's found us a, hopefully, what is a pretty sick uh, yum cha joint for, for yep. lunch, and then we're going to rush back home for a... Uh, a quick meeting with our oh. head of spirits, yeah. Henry Hammerslay. Just the, just the team back home. So you guys will get a grand reveal of what we'll end up looking like when Unico does fast fashion. What a find. 
First one's in for lunch, early lunch. Yeah. Welcome to the game of how much food can the Unico boys fit in a 60 minute time period. We're gonna give it a red hot crack. Okay, the aftermath. We gotta, we gotta get onto this meeting. Totally worth the journey. I over ordered. Yep, classic, like, a classic, lot. Classic written. Yep, that's that's one of my signature moves. But pro dev, not probably, definitely the actually the best pork 100%. I've ever eaten. Yeah, I think uh, that's a pretty firm lot for me as well. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, it doesn't happen often, but hopefully this is we, got we are. Ready to do business casually. Or are we about to do casual business? Wow. Oh wow. Oh, wow. It's the car the first tour. Oh nice. It's the man himself. <laughs> Noah. of this room of people. Um, people like wine. People like wine. Let's <laughs> see if we can't find some people to cost. This guy, very good man. This man, also a very good man. Dino, are you having fun, Dino? <laughs> this lady here, amazing Merlo. This man here, CO1. Very important man. The best Riesling in Australia is made by this man. Thank you, how are you? Thank you. Said Fiano a lot. Said Fiano a lot. Said Narodala double the amount as well. Brayden, Jessica, love and life. Love and life. Love and life. <laughs> First day, day zero. Day, day zero. zero. <laughs> Sushi Raku. Oh, lovely. 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 Yeah, just sitting down. Five, five seconds. And within that time, we have table set, we have green tea, we have menus down. And efficiency in Hong Kong. All right, sushi time. So I will apologize in advance for this because what happens is we come into these restaurants and I have full intentions of telling you and showing you the food that we eat. <laughs> just get excited. It's just, we just get, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, this happens to me all the time. <laughs> it was very young. So now we're gonna grab some snacks at 7 Lime and have an early night because we have a, a big day tomorrow, first day of the next Two meetings and then a big event. Or not being an event, an event in the evening. But I'm particularly excited after the turnout today. The vibes are good. This is very different to Germany. Exceptionally different. The vibe is awesome. Good. Awesome. Thank you very much. 7 Eleven's everywhere, man. This one, okay. I, not even the 7 Eleven that's next to the. Uh, nah, uh, I thought this one, this one looks like it has a little bit broader offering. Uh, Alright. Thank you, 7 Eleven. Bag full of snacks, a couple of beers, early night ahead morning run and the first day of the expo
key. Have I got a key? I've got a key. Yes. I, I mean. <gasps> no. <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good day. It's been like 13 years we've been together. And it works every time. Day one of, of the next boat, uh, straight out of the room, gags on Noah and got a camera in his face, which is totally the thing that he loves to wake up to in the morning. It's, it's, I'm used to it now. We are going to the coffee joint that we uh, bumped into BK uh, yesterday with. Oh, we have. Hello. Oh, we're all going to the same place? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 awesome. Are you guys, are you guys tasting or showing? We boots. Hey, we do. Yes. We do. We have, we're, oh. we're wine though. You're whiskey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, what sort of whiskey? We're a gen yeah. journalist. Oh, you're a journalist. So are we. From Taiwan. Yeah. So oh, really, awesome. Uh, We're from uh, Australia. YouTube. Australia? Huh? Yeah. Australia? Okay. Yeah. 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 This is the hotel for media. <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> it's yeah. the that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. It's because we're not Decanter Magazine. We're not being put up at the Grand Hyatt. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Uh, we get the Hennessy Hotel. 100%. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you very you, much. You ain't going to like Grand Hyatt. <laughs> <laughs> so see you later. See you later. Right. See you out there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You almost died, Noah. You almost died. In traffic. <laughs> Someone was saying to me, it's like Hong Kong's organized chaos. And I was like, organized? It's organized? Like, Haven't you noticed how everyone walks really efficiently in the same direction? I was like, no. I love this guy. Check this out. Tram, bus, then this guy. <laughs> Hong Kong, man. Hong Kong. Different rules, huh? No, no rules. No rules. No rules. This is right. not good. All right, we're on Wingning Street. Oh no. What is it? No. We are too early for coffee. Oh wait. <gasps> maybe, maybe you have, we have, there was movement at the station for the word it yeah. passed around. That she, no. <laughs> that she dropped it even further. <laughs> even though I'm not too sure how many people are going to really understand this, but the, the ridiculousness to an Australian that a cafe won't open until like 9 or 10 o'clock. It's generally like 9.30 to 10 where it starts and then you yeah. go to like 6. Yeah. I think Australia's addiction to coffee is probably unhealthy. Oh, it's extremely healthy. I wake up 6 a.m. first thing I think about. I got a bit excited I'm that I get to wake up and drink coffee. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It really does come. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is happening real time. Noah's was literally, was like, hey, I've got a feeling. And then... The coffee was so great at that place that Noah's spidey senses found that we actually had to grab another one to be able to walk to the expo with. And bonus, got to meet a lovely lass, Anna, who became the next subscriber to Wine for the People. So, welcome, Anna. If you're actually watching, and if we did, just didn't send you, like, she saw us filming a vlog and then went to a wine channel. She's like, if she's still watching, hi. All right, we're getting closer to the entry. Managed to pick up some friends. <laughs> hey, friends. Hi. Hello. This is everything all the time. I just videotape all of it, yeah. all the time. I subscribe to your YouTube channel, but I haven't watched one single now YouTube's got to know all about that. Okay. <laughs> subscribe, like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> the man himself. Darren, how are you? It's going, mate. Mate. Good, mate. good to see you. You well? Oh, very Dude, good. that's awesome. awesome. How do we get those? They're oh, sick. I, I only get them to special friends. Special friends. I am going back to Special Australia friends. Right now. <laughs> Fun's what we do. F U N. Fun. Just remember. <laughs> We've had a bit of a ready reckoner walk around so far. It's a lot smaller than Pro One, that's for sure, isn't it? Yeah. This is like, like one room. Yeah, sort of, you're looking at maybe 15% the size of Pro One, I reckon. I like, five, I reckon, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's, it's much smaller, condensed, which is good. There's a couple of familiar producers that we've seen around, which is kind of nice, but then there's also a couple of new producers that we didn't quite sort of anticipate bumping into. So we're actually going to venture out to a uh, Chinese wine producer producing wine near the Himalayas. I like the fact that the Chinese are playing to their strengths, though. Yeah. Like, that's the really cool thing that I find really exciting about Chinese wine, to be honest. So let's see how they're going, wine quality-wise, have a bit of a taste. We have just concluded that China, absolutely 
absolutely, 110% is making world-class wine. Yeah, that is just a fact. Cabernet. So Cabernet, uh, better than some of the Portos and uh, uh, Burgundies. Demanding a price point as well that's actually quite ambitious. You know, uh, I think the, the export price point for one of these wines was like 460 US. And the other one was you know, like 1,100 US. So yeah. we're talking like to bring it into Australia, it's two grand a bottle. Sort of pinnacle level. It's our man oh Dan Sims. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I'm um, very well. <laughs> All right. Uh, day one, not finished. We've not finished day one. We've, we've, we've finished the tasting component of day one, so it's been, been eight hours or so. We're gonna go back home, get back into the business casual mode, mm -hmm. and then... What have we got to, What have we got tonight? It's like it's this a, like invite, um, you know, private kind of buyer's event. There's only one invitee per, you know, wine region, so we're very lucky to be selected. Oh, so is it, am I gonna get like snuffed at the door because you RSVP'd and I didn't? Probably. Oh, sweet, I might get out of this. <laughs> didn't even come here for Shout out to those of you that came up to the stand and said good day, fan boyed and girled a bit as well. That kind of like really strokes the ego. It's kind of a little bit surreal. I always get awesome. weirded out. I always get weirded out. Weird I, out. Don't, I, don't get I mean, I just love meeting you guys and the fact that you guys love the channel is really fantastic. So thank you. We're going to scoot off home, quickly change, get business and casual. Or no, no, technically, no. this is only business. No, only business, no casual. It's strictly business. Strictly, <laughs> strictly business. <laughs> I see, see you. Probably not. Longer than that. I don't live in Adelaide anymore. Bye. Bye, YouTube.